banana smoothie with some uh, kiwi berries and some chia seeds. But so let's back up just a second because we're about to go to a mountain bike race. I don't have a mountain bike. How did that happen? Well, I went to Wilson's Bicycles. Uh, they're in Clovis, so about an hour actually from me. And they're doing demo rides for Norco mountain bikes. It's like a motorcycle shop and a bicycle shop. It's totally crazy. So I go in there and I chat up Josh and uh, and he hooks me up, man. He gets me two different choices. A more like downhilly type bike and a more cross country 29er. Ended up going with the 29er because I think this race is going to be much more pedally. And they totally dialed in both bikes, really. I mean, they really tweaked it for me. They got the gears all good. They, they, they put some slime in the tires. Uh, just totally got this thing dialed. I rode it around a little bit, uh, rode it out of the shop, and then here we are. I've got it, I'm ready to go. We're gonna go pick up my buddy Mike and uh, head about two and a half hours down to Springville, California, and see what happens. I better not get two flats this time. Turn right onto Tule River Drive, then you'll arrive at your destination. You've arrived. I have? Because it doesn't look like it. Did I, I just cut in front of you too? You did. I? And I'm I have sorry. you on film. <gasps> and I, I put it all over face. I thought you were expert. You look like an expert. So I signed up for the uh, B class, sport class. There's three classes. There's beginner, this is sport, and uh, expert. Probably should have signed up for the expert, but it's not my bike. I'm not a mountain biker. It's my sandbag. I want to win this thing. So sport is like two laps around this circuit. So I think it's like 16 miles. Definitely have the fitness to do more than that. But dude, I don't want to like race against some legit expert pro. Yeah, but it's, so there's a hundred bucks to the top, but is that to the very top. For, for the Does everyone start at the same time? I think it starts, everybody starts at the same time. I'm trying to get that hundo. So I have mountain bike shoes, but like the cleats on these things won't fit into the egg beater pedals or whatever. So I'm gonna run the cleat shoes on flat pedals. It's an open fire road start, and it's got some real sandy corners and some bumpy sections, but everybody goes full gas right off the line to get to the single track. Once you hit the single track, there's like a, there's like a tree, and once people hit that tree, it divides into a single file line, and people are gonna be getting out of their, there's, there's deep transitions that go down these gullies and back up again. Uh -huh. People are gonna crash, people are gonna, if there's some off camber stuff, people are gonna slip out of their pedals, it's gonna back everybody up. So if you don't get out at the start, you're gonna be in that mess. But a lot of people are gonna kill themselves and then mess up in front, and slow people up. I mean, it's, it's kind, of a, kind of a mess in the beginning, but it's a lot of fun. He's going for that, he's going for number 10, no pressure here.
out, man. So how was your race? That was beautiful. It's true mountain bike racing. Nice course, lots of fun single track. Had a blast. Definitely be up again. What was the hardest part of it? The climb. <laughs> the single track was worth it. Got to earn it. What's your name? Allison. How old are you? Um, 17. Uh, how long was your race? Hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 15 minutes. Nice. How'd you do? Uh, I got first in my class, I think. Sweet. You're plant-based? Yeah. How long have you been? I think a year and a half. Yeah. And and you feel strong on the bike and everything. Yeah. Awesome. Wow, that was a massively hard race. I stuck with. So there was three classes: the expert, the. Uh, sport and beginner so like abc i signed up for b because dude i'm not even a mountain biker like i have fitness but i don't really have that great of skills i don't even have a bike don't give me a hard time anyway i stayed with the experts for the first lap and then just blew into pieces so i messed my thumb up pretty bad on my shifters but dude that was so much fun i don't win anything winning feels good So super fun, man. Mountain bike racing is awesome because your level of fitness can really vary quite a bit. Like if you're racing P12, your level of fitness has to be pretty on, on point to uh, really even have any sort of fun. You can jump in a P12 crit and get blown out in five minutes, you know, if your fitness isn't there. Well, that'd be a waste of a day. But in mountain biking, even if you get last, you still had a really fun day. You know, you finished the ride, you feel like you got something out of your money. And if you have good technical skills, that can kind of make up for maybe some lack in fitness. So I rode this Norco uh, 29er and it was awesome. It was a little stiff for me. I would like to have more suspension and it wasn't totally set up in the hands right. My hands kept slipping off. So I'd get really sweaty and I could barely hold on and then my thumb was like jabbing against the shifters. Ugh. But so then this is what's kind of funny is that I really wanted the podium picture. I've wanted a podium picture of me on the top step for a long time. There was a good group of guys in the, uh, in the sport class, maybe 20. And so I legitimately one like there was more than there was a lot of people but they break it up into categories for age but so for the sport class i won i get up to the podium and third place was not there so he had his daughter i think go up there i was like i can't yeah duh. so now the podium picture makes it look like i poached some super junior 12 year old race and that the VC just just robbed this like 12 year old girl of a podium, <laughs> you know, like, ah. But anyway, I met another girl that lives out in that area and she said she was vegan, 17 years old, vegan for a year and a half and she won her class, super cool. She asked to take a picture with me. What's that? Did she get a picture with you? Dude, you don't understand. When someone like recognizes me for, for YouTube, it just puts me over the moon. I can't, it's so awesome. It sticks with me forever. I, anyone who's ever recognized me, I think about you and that moment often. That might sound weird, but it's just so awesome.
So the wife had something amazing. It was like P.F. Chang's style kind of uh, Chinese. So teriyaki sauce, and broccoli and carrots and sweet peas and mushrooms and rice. And then she did like tempura cauliflower. So this is battered cauliflower. It's amazing. An amazing dinner for an amazing day. I've really only won two races. I've won like a, some series, and but honestly I won a race when I was a Cat 4 from a breakaway in a road, and that was pretty much it. So to win a race, it feels really good. As always, Vegan Cyclist, yeah!